CDS offers the concept of, associ of association besides classical SQL joins. What is the difference between an association and a join in CDS? Yeah. Shall I so, take, take the <laughs> yeah. Can continue, yes, sure. CDS, guys. <laughs> Since we're on this topic. Yes, I think everybody, I hope everybody here knows what a join is. Uh, you have, a, have two, two data sources, two views, and uh, you say how these fit together. You uh, give a non condition, and then uh, you can select from the, the combination of both. Uh, the disadvantage of this approach of, of uh, using many explicit joins is that. Uh, every join has a performance impact. If you execute uh, or select data from the joint mm -hmm. uh, 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 data source, uh, even if you are not interested in, in, in both parts, if you, are, uh, if you want to select only from one part. And therefore, in CDS, uh, we introduce these associations, um, which can be considered a, a potential join. So an association belongs to one of the two data sources, points to the other one. Uh, you define an, an on condition, the way how these uh, two data sources should be joined in the end. Uh, so like, so would it be like viewing like a sales order item and be able to view product? Is that kind of like the... Yes, like, right, right. So if you want to join your sales order item with the product and combine the data, uh, then you can do this anyway, uh, anytime you want, if you have the association from sales order item to product, and uh, you have a pass notation where you write association name dot uh, element name in the product, and then this field is available. And you do not have to put the join explicitly, which is sometimes difficult to do mm -hmm. if you have the left outer and, and all that stuff and to, to bring every relevant fields in. Uh, and this is one of the aspects that make uh, CDS easier to use compared to SQL. And uh, we see it with our developers. <laughs> Millions of lines of uh, CDS code are written, uh, which would be more difficult. To, to I'm sure. Well, how do you actually how do you how do you handle the access restrictions or the permissions or authorizations for these CD CDS views? <laughs> I can't keep it CDS. Yeah. Go so, uh, as Ralph pointed out, there's some relation also to SQL processing. So that's mm -hmm. the main aspects we deal with in the S4 space when we use uh, CDS. So we define view models with the mean of CDS infrastructure. And of course, we do not want to have them just the data being fetched from the database, but idly this is then automatically combined with authorization checks so that in the end, when you execute a query as an end user, you're not confronted with the fact that you get data you're not allowed to see or access, but only the data you are actually yeah, authorized for. And do you do of that course, the same thing with wrap? Is it the same idea between the two? Um, in in RAP, we have basically two approaches to the access the data, mm -hmm. which is on the one hand side, we also leverage the CDS views for read access. And there in also the same concepts that I will now explain in a second mm -hmm. uh, will come into picture. But we have, of course, also um, during transactions, accesses um, for changes and so forth that are not read only accesses, but uh, change operations, as Renzo explained, where we need additional authorization enforcement. And there's also a specific concept for that. Hmm. Yeah, but um, coming back to the plain SQL yeah. part. So here we use also an addition um, that is 
to be considered a kind of integrated part of the CDS world. It's the DCL data control language, which allows us to specify in the end filter criteria on the data records um, derived from the authorizations of the user that tries mm -hmm. to access the data. And all this for the consumer, it's not um, visible in this way. He just selects from the CDS model, but automatically these access restrictions are then injected by the infrastructure so that in the end, the result of the select he issues is yeah, properly secured from an authorization perspective. Mm 